Hello, good morning. It's Wednesday the 20th. I'm FX Plu and this is the market brief. So sterling rose a little yesterday, but largely remains on the back foot still. We saw a high of just shy of 123 before we fell back to close around 122.55 against the dollar. And there's still a lot of confusion around the partial lifting of the lockdown and the plans to reopen school. That's still a very contentious issue, especially for the teachers union. And it didn't go unnoticed that it's still too dangerous for parliament to reconvene. Um, by all measures though, it does look like the infection is slowly coming under control in the UK. The other issue weighing on uh, sterling though is our good old friend Brexit. Yesterday the UK published post-Brexit trade terms which warned of the risk to the EU uh, but at this stage it's uh, little more than sabre rattling. For now no doubt the, uh, the no deal threat remains and Boris is still adamant that he will follow through on the deck 31st deadline. But do you think COVID-19 might change that? What do you think about the UK's recovery prospects with or without an EU trade deal? I'd welcome your thoughts in the comments below, please. Uh, Trump's been on and apparently he's a pharmacist now, bigly, no doubt. Uh, he's been self-prescribing an anti-malarial to deal with COVID-19. Now, normally I'd happily skirt past the USDA's concern uh, over the heart and liver problems it could cause to Big Don. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy after all. But the wider risk here is for all the Trump supporters blindly copying their inglorious leader and messing with their internal organs. Straight from the playbook of good leadership? I think not, sadly. Uh, Powell's also been on um, and he says that negative rates in the US uh, is not even close to being on the table. So that pretty much rules out any, uh, any potential surprises that could have been in the FOMC minutes. They're due out later today. Um, and then over in Euroland, uh, the final details of that 500 billion euro support package are still a little way off yet. Um, and it's a long way from being signed off, but it is a step in the right direction and it did bring a little confidence back to the market. Uh, Macron had a mixed day though, what started uh, pretty close to hero status, having convinced Merkel that grants would be um, a better way of distributing those funds than loans. Um, it ended with his parliamentary majority disappearing as 10 of, uh, of his colleagues left his party to go and set up a rival party of their own. Tough day in the office for him. Hope your day fares a little better today. Have a great one and I'll see you again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.